Who am I? I'm the EOE Rain Victoria. And why did I drive 18 hours to get here to CCW? To do you all a favor, because you're lacking in a lot of different areas. So you're welcome. I'm bringing evil to CCW. Under strange circumstances, if you will, but I'm hoping that this match will shed a little bit of light on exactly what this relationship with Bill Alfonso is, and hopefully what Santos's mindset is these days, because it's difficult to tell. Do you think Alfonso is going to show up at ringside again? You know what? Anything's possible. It's Bill Alfonso. Anything's possible. I mean, the man is unpredictable. He's the manager of champions, and there's no oh, Pharaoh hitting him from behind. Pharaoh taking advantage right away. Santos playing to the crowd. Had his back turned. Pharaoh just takes him out. Well, I talked to Johnson earlier. He said he wants this title. He's going to be aggressive, and he's taking it all to Santos. And he wasn't kidding. Going after him before the bell even rang. And now nicely done under a clothesline by Johnson, delivering one of his own. And a scoop and a slam down goes Johnson. Santos now. Control, dropping the leg. Well done. I mean, there's no doubt Santos is the poster boy for CCW. You know, and he's fired up, too. And look at the shape he's in, Johnny he's, Walker. He's always in phenomenal shape. There's never any doubt about that. You know, I, ne I never know whether to love or hate him. It's hard to get a read on him, but he is just a superior athlete. And, there, oh, I was just going to say, Pharaoh Johnson showing some ring intelligence, rolling out of the way as Santos leaped to the top rope. But Santos right out after him. He may have heard... Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's remarks earlier and uh, is being more aggressive than usual. We don't usually see Santos so aggressive that he's going out and attacking his opponent outside the ring. I got to admit, this is a new side of Santos we've never seen before, and I like it. You know, he's, he's taking it to his opponent anywhere he can get a hold of him. And, and just look at the mean aggressiveness he's using. That might, I mean, I, I don't want to believe he's not that he's under the influence of Bill Alfonso. But that aggressiveness is not something you usually see from Santos. It's not the same way anyway. He's an aggressive wrestler, but I mean, to me, outside of the ring and slamming his head into guard, his opponent's head into the guardrail, it's not the Santos I know. Now, he didn't get all that drop kick. He grazed him on the back, but enough to knock uh, Pharaoh Johnson off balance, and then a clubbing forearm blow to the back. He is just laying it into Pharaoh Johnson. You know, I, I, again, this is a whole new side of Santos, who's usually, you know, a respectful wrestler, a very humble wrestler. And what I'm seeing right here, and, and I hate to, you know, use a phrase, I'm seeing ruthless aggression, and I'm loving it. You are correct, and that was a beautiful executed drop kick right to the jaw of Pharaoh Johnson. Pharaoh Johnson now able to power out, and Santos now setting him up. It looks like we're ability to a suplex. No, he's putting him up on the top rope. Pharaoh Johnson's back to the ring, gloving forearm blow. Where's Santos going with this one? It could be a belly to back suplex off the second rope with more force from Pharaoh Johnson now. Delivering some elbows, nicely done by Johnson. Ring awareness and, uh, you know, give credit where credit is due. Oh, Santos now, I, I spoke too soon. You absolutely did. Pharaoh trying to get a little bit of separation, get himself out of a bad position, just found himself in another really bad position. But again, ring awareness. Santos trying to lift Johnson from the middle rope with less leverage, lifting him all the way over the top as Vera was on the apron. But Vera was able to use, the, use that to his advantage and drop Santos' neck across the top rope. And now Pharaoh Johnson is in control. And it's a good thing he did too, because if Santos had pulled that off, I think that would have been the end of the match. Instead, you have Pharaoh Johnson now stomping away in the corner. Again, Pharaoh now being very aggressive. You know, you got two guys here, both of them with chips on their shoulders or logs on their shoulders, however you want to look at it. I don't know what Santos' chip is all about, but these guys are really just bringing it to each other. I think Santos is just defending the title. I mean, he, he knows that, uh, that Johnson is after him, and he's, he's got to be aggressive. I don't know. I see a lot of Bill Alfonso's influence here. I don't want to admit to it, I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't want to see that. I know, you're a Santos lover. Oh, he's our guy. Hey, you know what? Sometimes when you want to get that gold back around your waist, you're willing to sell your soul to the devil. 
Yeah, and that's exactly what Bill Alfonso is, is the devil on the shoulder, and I hope Santos doesn't fall for it. I can't believe that you were going to disrespect a guy like Bill Alfonso by calling him the devil on the shoulder. not disrespecting him, calling it like it is, Johnny Beautiful. Walker, just like you do. Johnson powering out after the clothesline and the cover attempt by Santos. Oh, nice showing signs of life. Pharaoh Johnson with a forearm blow to the midsection. This match has been pretty even so far. These guys are taking through each other back and forth. Nobody really getting the upper hand yet. No, nobody's done any serious damage yet. Nicely executed drop kick again by Santos. Santos now with Johnson in the corner. Oh, and a vicious chop. Separate that Ringing out throughout here, throughout the arena here in Helios Granite. One more time! One more time! One more time! The crowd one likes what they time. see. They want to see more. And he hits him hard across the chest again. Again, I pointed out a ruthlessness that you don't normally see from Santos. And it's actually a little refreshing. Five more times! <laughs> Whipping Johnson hard into the buckle now. Santos is deep. Oh, and he walks right into an elbow of Pharaoh Johnson. Going right to Jaw and a what straight boot. Right to the face. He could have him here. He I turns him over the cover. Referee position. Two. Oh, that was close. I'd have bet you any amount of money that after that giant boot, Santos was on Dream Street. Apparently, I was wrong. Now, he might be on Dream Street, but he was able to get that shoulder up. Santos! 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 Here's something you don't see often. Harrow Johnson going to the top. He's not usually known as a high flyer. This is a high risk maneuver that may or may not pay off. It certainly did not pay off. Santos quick to his feet, slamming Pharaoh Johnson off the top rope. This has been a back and forth, nip and tuck all the way. Wow, Santos now looks like he's going through that finishing gut buster. Farrah, smart enough, got himself out of it with a couple back elbows. And delivering a Cobra clutch now. There's a move you don't see often. Not anymore. Santos making, excuse me, uh, Pharaoh Johnson now with Santos, and he has, him, he has him down to a knee. This cuts off the oxygen supply to the brain and is uh, similar to a sleeper hold. Uh, used famously by Sergeant Slaughter. I was just going to point it out. We're, we're harkening back to the old days where the yeah. Sarge himself used this as a, a knockout win move. Your opponent can't even tap out. He's just done. As, as Santos might be right now. Santos' arm dangling. He barely got that arm up before the four drop for a third time, causing victory and lo losing of the championship. Santos now making his way back to his feet taking some of the pressure off that move, using his incredible strength, driving Sparrow Johnson back into the corner. Johnson not letting go, and finally, Santos with a, uh, a takedown of sorts, and able to, and Johnson going right back to it, no. Oh, what a beautifully executed maneuver. He picked him up for a belly to back suplex, but as he dropped him, spun him in air, delivering a neck breaker at the same time. Beautifully done by Santos, very innovative, and both men are down now as Santos Looks like he's getting to his feet first, I think, Johnny Walker. He is now, no, he is, they are about in the same position. Actually, Farrow Johnson now up to a knee. Now Santos the same. Johnson getting the advantage, getting up first while Santos turned backwards. Well, it really has been a back and forth match. You, saw, you called it earlier, Johnny Walker. Not one of them has had a distinct advantage for any length of time. I'm actually impressed that Johnson got up after that incredible neck breaker that Santos threw. Santos delivering right hands. Johnson with a knee to the midsection. Stops the momentum. Shooting in now. Santos under a clothesline. Under again. And clothesline, clothesline of his own. Beautifully executed now. Santos is on the move. Back elbow. Johnson goes down. Santos waiting on him now. Knee to the gut. Setting him up, uh, nicely done, DDT. The both men are down. Santos, it took a little bit out of him, that DDT, or did it? It didn't Kip take up. that much out of him. When you can kip up like that, if they're delivering the kind of things he's done, that's just amazing. Santos now, 
with Farrow Johnson in the corner. Shoot him across, head first into the buckle goes Johnson. Santos urging the crowd. He went high in the air, now came down with his rib cage right on that rope. But up and over, up and over Farrow Johnson now. Nice and executed neck breaker again this time. Going for the cover, taking him a little bit longer than I think he would have liked. And obviously Johnson kicks out. Only a two count, referee was in position. Vera Johnson That's has a life first left for in her. him. Oh, come on, she does very well. Amy Veronica, an excellent referee at the CCW training facility. She is coming along very well. And you better watch your mouth, Johnny Walker. I don't want to hear that out of you. You, you know what they say about opinions, right, Dan? Everybody's got one? Yeah, they all stink. Oh, a beautifully executed backbreaker there. Pharaoh Johnson with an innovative move. You don't see something like that from him usually. Two. That was close. There's no way that Santos is going to give up the title that easily. Not after everything he's gone through to get it back again. Well, this is anyone's match, Johnny Walker, without a doubt. These two are evenly matched. Pharaoh Johnson showing me a lot, going aggressively. He wants that title back. And he takes a shot right to the nose. You know, this is gonna come down to who wants it more. Santos up and over the rope, ducking. Beautifully executed, covers his man. One, two. Wow, it's tough to put Pharaoh Johnson away. He's just not going down without a fight. Each one of these men wants this title badly, and you can tell. Neither one given an inch. Santos looks frustrated to me, Johnny Walker. Well, he's throwing everything at him with the kitchen sink at this point. Well, I think that last move was the kitchen sink. It might have been. If it wasn't, that's what we should Here we call go. It. Now, if he... Uh, I was going to say, if he nails this, it's over. If he gets you in that gut buster, you can say goodnight. But Farrow Johnson breaking free and hoisting him on his own. Is he going to go for it? Is he going to try his own move? No. Santos escapes, shoving him into the corner. Oh, beautiful running knee. He caught him right in the jaw. Cover that man, and it's over. That might be no, it, he's folks. picking him up. He's picking him up. He should have gone for the cover, Johnny Walker. He's he would have had him. him. No, he's no now he's going, going for, he's going for the hit. gut buster. If he nails it, it's over. He's taking too long, I think. Oh, there it is. Got it. Did he get all of it? I don't know if he did. He covers him. Referee out of position. Two. He got him. Santos retains the title after what was a all-out war. Calling all future stars of professional wrestling. The CCW training facility is open in South Florida. If it has always been your dream to enter the squared circle, then the CCW training facility is the first step in making that dream come true. All of our trainees will participate at our live events and be part of our weekly TV show. Classes are forming now for referees, managers, and for male and female wrestlers. Call 954-397-6421 or visit our website at ccwrestlingfl.com and find out how you can make an impact on the pro wrestling scene. Call or click today. Attention wrestling fans, the place to be each and every Tuesday is on the Coastal Championship Wrestling YouTube channel where a new episode of CCW Alive Wrestling drops at 7 p.m. Witness the hard-hitting, high-flying action that is synonymous with the longest-running independent wrestling promotion in the southeastern United States. Subscribe today and don't you dare miss it. Do you want to be a mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear. 